Good morning. I'm Sylvia the Crafty Old Lady and today I am working on week 30 of Marguerite Miller's collage assignments and I need something associated with a place I've been. I picked this landmark card of the Statue of Liberty. Uh, something ornate. I picked this little lady with very ornate clothing on. Um, a textured paper. I have two types. I'm heading more towards this one and you can see it's just slightly textured um, a flower or a plant I have got some of these kind of neutral colored flowers here I am skipping the clothing tag because I honestly don't have any and then I'm probably going to stitch around this but before I do anything else I might trim, the, I probably am going to trim this down too, um, so that it's not, so that you can see some of this paper around all the edges. So anyway, I am going to attempt to age this little card with some tea bags. I've done this before, many, actually quite a few years ago, and it worked well, so I'm hoping it will work well again. And I don't think I'm going to use one with a lot of blotches because I don't want to cover up, you know, what <laughs> the Statue of Liberty is. So, I'm going to just use this one, I think. And all I do is Mod Podge them on. So that's what we're going to do next. Is Mod Podge this right on top of my photo. And that's going to make it look old. And... Then we can um, maybe ink it around the edges if we want to. So let's get started. Actually, I think I'm going to do it this way. Yeah. This is a matte finish one, Mod Podge. I always try to do my Mod Podging on plastic, if possible because I don't want it to stick to anything else. <laughs> it's easier to get it off of plastic. Okay. Let's put this back down. It doesn't have to be straight or anything because you're just going to trim it. And we have to let this dry before we can continue. It's okay if there's wrinkles because it probably will get wrinkled. And I'm pretty sure that I will want to um, ink the edges. So we're waiting for that to dry. I decided to go ahead and cut my paper to size. So that's going to go probably just like this. And here is my lady. I'm pretending that she is the lady that the Statue of Liberty was modeled after and she's come to visit it and see it for herself. <laughs> but I am going to ink these edges up and I think this paper definitely goes a lot better with this background. But uh, let's get these inked and we'll figure out the rest before I can sew. Um, glue the whole thing down. I do have to do some sewing on it. I decided to round the edges on the background for the photo too. <clears throat> so now it's just basically a waiting game. Waiting for the ink to dry, or the glue to dry. I think I need a little bit more on here. There. That looks good. Pretty good. <laughs> Alright, that's it for the inks. That is it. Okay. And then we have a couple of neutral flowers. I think I have a bigger neutral flower in here. It's missing the inside though. Maybe there's another one. Or maybe I could put a jewel on there. 
Let's see. I don't want yellow. Although this would be a pretty color because it matches this. Maybe I'll do that. I'll have a couple of larger orangey ones and some smaller uh, neutral ones. They're just kind of going to go around the picture a little bit. Yeah, I think I think that's going to look pretty. Maybe even a green would be a good with uh, this green background here. I don't know if we have the right color green. I saw a green in there though. Here we go. Actually, that would be okay too. <laughs> well, let's do it. I don't like that one with the green. So, three and three probably is what we're going to do. I might add more, you never know. I'm just waiting for this to dry. And then we will sew it around the edges onto the background. And then add our other elements and we're done. All right. All right, so this is dry. And I have to admit, I was a little worried that the Statue of Liberty wasn't going to show up. But it is now. Now that it's fully dry, and I'm going to stitch it around here with some pretty orange thread. Right, so, I did kind of forget to ink around the edges of the picture, but... I tried to do it a little bit afterwards, and this is how it looks. I love the bright orange uh, thread, and now I'm going to just glue this down into the middle of my page, maybe a little slightly higher than the middle, and we'll finish up. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're happy and healthy and safe and cool I hope you have enough to eat and yeah I hope all good things for you I hope all good things for everyone all right, so I'm going to leave these hanging down even though I don't normally like that look I kind of do like it this time and she's going to go right here, just like that. And uh, I think I'm going to use this glue for her too, if I can get it to come out good. Usually I would tack her down with glue stick, but... I'm not sure how that would work on this textured and sewing and all that textured paper sewing and everything. So there it is. There she is. Now I have to decide where I want to put my flowers. I'm thinking since she's on this side, maybe I would put the flowers over here. Mm -hmm. I don't want them all like bunched up together. Yep, I think that's how that's going to work. How's your summer going so far? We're waiting for our daughter from Japan to come. She's coming mm, next week, next Monday. And today is Tuesday, so we're getting excited about that. sticking to me. I kind of don't want all these. <laughs> I don't remember how I had them now. But I don't want all the little white ones jumbled up together. We'll see. I don't know if that's going to work. don't know if that's how it's going to work out. With this one here 
And maybe this one here. That's not all jumbled up. These are hard to glue down flat because they're not very flat actually. Okay, so let's make sure we've got everything we need. We have something associated, <laughs> associated, something associated with a specific place, which is the Statue of Liberty. I actually remember climbing up the steps of the Statue of Liberty on a field trip when I was like six years old. Um, something ornate is this lady's dress and apparel. Textured paper is the photo mat. Flowers. I did not do the clothing tag, so I used the bonus stitching. And I think this is one of my favorites, if not my favorite it's collage that I've done so far. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.